I tell them, look, I have a P.O. box. I get a lovely package in the mail. No, that's really fucking bad. Ah, no, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. God, no. Hey alligators, what's up? It's Allie Hardesty and right now it is Tuesday afternoon and I need to film a couple things for Anna's video. I feel like it's okay to talk about this on my vlog because this will probably be up after her video is up. But basically she sent me this text asking me and some other YouTubers to send her clips acting out situations and or things that YouTubers can relate to. She's gonna put all the clips together of everyone and put it in her video if that makes sense. So I have to like send her over a couple things and I figured I would just start a vlog while I was at it because I've been keeping Open up this like semi daily vlog thing. I haven't been posting vlogs every day, but I basically been making an effort to like vlog different things throughout my day to day life for the most part. So hope you guys are enjoying the vlogs. They're really fun for me to do, and I really like doing them. <laughs> Taking advantage of this bathroom lighting right now because I'm too lazy to get my ring light and my house is super dark But I wanted to show you guys this bikini not sponsored I have no idea actually who sent this to me I received it in my PO box the other day But I love the straps on it and it kind of makes me want to go hit the gym and hit the hot tub So I might go ahead and do that it has the straps in the back as well So yeah, this is not a haul literally just received this one swimsuit. So if you're the person who sent it to me. Thank you I really like it I'm trying to set this up on here like as a tripod. I don't know if I've ever talked about this in a video before, but I'm super sad that my belly button isn't pierced anymore. Basically, it came out on its own and I was just gonna go get a new one in the morning, like a new piercing when it came out. But then in the morning, it had already closed up and I don't really know if I wanna re-pierce it over the scar tissue because I'm already so scared of needles, but I just hate that it's bare now because I know what it's like to have it looking real cute. So let me know in the comment section below if you guys think I should in fact re-pierce it and vlog it because that could be interesting. I really do not like sharp things going on my body. The outside of my apartment makes me literally look like I'm five years old. Hey guys, so I've been trying to figure out where the best lighting is in this apartment because I typically don't vlog that much, but I've been doing it a lot lately. And when I do, usually I'm outside or something, but in my apartment, it's super freaking dark. As you can see, I have blackout curtains because one, that's the only way that I can sleep. And two, honestly, I never wear clothes. I live alone. No one really sees me like ever unless I leave the house. Literally put this on so I could take out my camera because I'm not trying to do porn. I'm trying to do YouTube and I don't want people walking by. So hence the windows are always closed. Plus it's like 9 at night, so I mean even if they were open it would be dark anyways You get the point when you vlog you're supposed to just take out your phone or camera But I feel like I have to stand in a certain place or have my ring light out so you guys can see me now that that's addressed Let's move on with the vlog I want to go to Panda Express right now But I have very mixed feelings about it because one I had food poisoning last time I went there Two it's not the healthiest, but honestly I went to the gym last night So feel like I can eat a little bit unhealthy. It's fine I have no real way to justify the whole food poisoning thing other than hopefully it doesn't happen again I still am debating on being pest Pescatarian because I could definitely live without meat with the exception of fish like 100% I don't even like cheeseburgers that much anymore Actually, I don't even eat them since EDC because if you guys didn't know I had really bad food poisoning at EDC for like three freaking days It was horrible <laughs> literal flashbacks when I think about it But I need to go grocery shopping really bad and I haven't had a chance to yet And I don't really want to go this late at night because I'm not trying to get kidnapped at Walmart You feel me? So this might be my only option Also when this took place the food poisoning from Panda Express or just chicken I tweeted about it and they reached out to me called me told me that they were gonna send me free meal vouchers to compensate For the sickness that their food gave me, but I didn't receive them yet So don't know if panda's gonna come through. I'm just blabbing at this point So we'll find out if I go currently at the drive-thru about to go pay I just ordered orange chicken and fried rice in a bowl and I'm nervous to eat this hashtag pray for Allie 2017 this looks really weird with the flash, but I got the little bowl just to be safe I just opened my fortune cookie and there's no fortune not clickbait live footage. I'm kind of I'm out about it. Allie Hardesty. How you doing? Yeah, he totally already knocked on the door and we just wanted to reenact that, so I don't know why he has a pipe. Hey, what's up, you guys? So you all remember my best friend, Nate. How we doing? Yes, he just decided to come over randomly and I was like, perfect, you can be in the vlog while I spontaneously surprise you with something and you have to give me your honest reaction. She's Not even honest, we're just gonna see your reaction on camera. I low-key like kind of already showed you, but I don't think he remembers. I was thinking about making this into a story time, but I really didn't want to draw that much attention to it just because it's like a little bit not kid-friendly and stuff. But basically, so 
sometimes YouTubers have people email us about sponsorship opportunities or they just want to send you something. And I get a lot of emails from a lot of companies. And obviously I only work with the reputable ones if I choose to, right? But I get a lot of ones from like random companies I know nothing about. So this one company in particular reaches out to me. I'm not going to say their name. I'm going to be really vague. I'm not trying to throw shade. It's whatever. It's fine. But like, it's not fine at the same time because what the heck. So this company reaches out and they're like, hey, we want to send you something, a certain kind of thing. And... You already know what I'm talking about. Uh, you no know freaking. You still have it. Believe me, I didn't use this. It She's just, lying. I guarantee it. I think I would die if I used this. <laughs> but anyway, so a sex toy company reaches out to me and they're like, "Hey, like we want to send you some stuff. Can you review it?" And I was basically like, "I don't really do that on my channel." Blah blah blah. And they kept being really persistent, like emailing me. They even contacted me on other social media platforms trying to work with me. And so finally, I told them what I tell every other company where they're not going to pay me, which is to send it to my PO box. If you want me to review something. Thing, send it to my PO box. If I like it, I may put it in a video because I am in no legal obligation to do that unless they're going to pay me or I sign a contract, which I didn't. So that is where I messed up because I guess I shouldn't have even put out that invitation. Bruh. Next thing I know, my Twitter is being blown up by this company saying, hey, did you receive the sex toys yet? And I really, oh, no. I hadn't received it. I wasn't expecting this package. Like I didn't really think they were going to send me anything. They honestly didn't even look like they were from this country. Like the way they were typing. It was just like a sketchy looking email and company. I don't even know if it was legit. I've had sex toy companies reach out and ask to sponsor me before like Adam and Eve they're super reputable and I've done lingerie try on hauls with them but never sex toys just because I feel like that's like a little bit like pushing it more than lingerie is obviously a lot of it pushing it yeah because lingerie is more like bikinis but like sex toys is like I'm just not going to review that on my channel just because like that's not like what my channel is like but this company it was just like sketchy it seemed and stuff on top of all that I just wasn't going to work with them it also wasn't even really clear from the get-go that it was just sex toys because they were like through Amazon or something they keep blowing up my Twitter asking if I received a package I don't even respond like I don't even know what they're talking about I didn't even realize it was the same company that was emailing me because like I respond to all those emails like that you know and let me just backtrack a couple days too I was talking to my friend I don't even know if I should say his name it's one of my really really close YouTube friends and basically he tells me that the same company reached out to him asking to do a review or whatever I told them you said you weren't gonna say this name oh crap you're right basically it's, basically it's Basically, my friend told the company, if you want me to do a video, you guys have to pay me. And they're like, well, do you know Allie Hardesty? She's a YouTuber that you may know. And she told us that she would do it for free. I literally said, I have a public PO box. Are they really emailing other YouTubers telling them like, hey, you should review our sex toys for free because YouTuber Allie Hardesty is going to review us for free. I explained the whole thing to him and he's like laughing so hard because he knows I have a kid friendly channel. He knows that I would never review that in the first place. Besides that, they keep asking my friend for my contact contact information like my personal phone number all this stuff and he's of course not giving it to them because like that's just so unprofessional I'm not responding to you for a reason I'm literally ignoring all your emails I never even got a package from you I didn't even know that it was like 100% going to be sex toys because it was through Amazon and you were just confusing the hell out of me I come home from Rapper this weekend I get a lovely package in the mail I opened it up this item was in the package she snapshotted me the item wait what did I do with it oh it's over here obviously I was not a willing participant sponsor of this company asking other youtubers for my phone number and also trying to bribe other youtubers to do a free sponsorship because youtuber Ali Hardesty reviewed us for free did I did I really did I really oh ridiculous I legitimately got this in the mail and was so fearful I don't even want to look at can we put it away I don't even have words why are they purple I mean they could have at least done like blue balls that's what I was just thinking honestly like I can only speak for myself but do you know any girl who could take this it's making me really uncomfortable it packs a punch that's the one positive comment I have I hate so, this, I hate um, it. So. Can we just, just throw it in your room? No, stop. It bounces so high. I didn't really feel like making this a dedicated video because that would be very inappropriate. No, that's really fucking bad. Ah, no, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. God, no. Basically, sex toy company reaches out to me, asks to work with me. I say, no, I don't do that here. They say, well, you should. We really want to work with you. They keep emailing me and stuff. I tell them, look, I have a PO box if you want to send me something there. If I like it, I will review it. No obligation to do so whatsoever. They send it over. I receive it like a freaking month later but I'm harassed every single day up until that point then they're emailing all my other YouTube friends asking for my personal contact information phone number etc asking them if I've received the package which I didn't and then also trying to bribe them to do it for free because I did it for free kind of pisses me off because obviously this person's my friend so like we could just laugh about it like clearly I'm not gonna review that just a PSA if anyone receives an email saying that I'm not reviewing this company I'm just not <laughs> I'll take a picture of you.
Rainbow, full and still Who on earth could use that and not actually die? I'd love Dude, to look know. Look how hot she is. I would love to know. I would love to know. Just so you guys know, it's not that I'm no longer doing sit down videos. It's just that lately I've been on this vlog hype. So I hope you guys enjoy that we sat down with the ring light and like talked a little bit, shared a little bit of the story time. I will have some like real story times and sit down videos coming up for you guys soon. So thank you for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, hit that bell twice to be notified of all of my videos. I also have a Patreon if you want to check it out. Where you can get my private Snapchat, exclusive photo shoots, videos early, etc. We will see you in a later video. Later, alligators. Bye.